What's going on everybody, Blue here and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to create an animated profile picture like the one I have on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Discord, all that. Uh, and it's very super incredibly simple. I mean, I cannot express that enough. It is super, super, super simple to create a profile picture like I have. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that today. Now, first of all, for the ones who don't know, I created my profile picture with the help of the Xbox Avatar Editor app, which if you guys don't know, uh, is an app that you can download from the Microsoft Store if you, of course, have Windows 10. And this is, by the way, the only way that you can uh, make a profile picture like the one I have is you have to download the Windows Windows 10 uh, Xbox Avatar Editor app from the Microsoft Store. Uh, like I said, if you have Windows 10, I believe that's the only way. You, I mean, I think, it, well, no, I think if you have Windows 8, I think it might work. I don't know, but I have Windows 10. I know it works. For, uh, I know it works for Windows 10. Uh, you also have an Xbox edit, uh, Avatar Editor um, on your Xbox One that will not work. It has to be on the PC, and I'll show you guys exactly why that is in just a minute. So, firstly, in order to get the avatar picture that you're wanting, you first have to, of course, create your avatar. Now, I already have my avatar created right here. I'm gonna leave it just like uh, it is and uh, so yeah because I don't want to have to <laughs> I don't want to have to change it around go back and rechange it after I'm done so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like it is right here you can customize your character however you want messing around with the different uh, shirts and the shoes and the pants and whatnot but once you have your avatar like you want it uh, you want to go to the photo booth uh, setting or the photo booth option click on that you're gonna be prompted with probably a similar screen to this it might not look exactly like this but you will see if you do have a prop it's gonna play out like a big long animation you just gotta wait until it's done with the animation as you can see with this like little progress bar down here and once it's done you're gonna see something similar to this now yours might look something like that or maybe something like this but uh, I have mine set to landscape 4k which by the way this is a size option on the left uh, left hand side just click that go to landscape 4k that's what you want uh, and then you can basically use this slider right down here to figure out where you want to take the screenshot at so you could use like this pose right here uh, right about right there and click this like little move uh, option, this little move button right here, the panning button on the right hand side. And you can move the camera up and down, side to side and all that. We're gonna move it up a little bit. But you can use this slider down here at the bottom to adjust uh, the animation, of, of course, assuming you have like a prop or whatever. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and move it up there to around where my face is at. I'm gonna select the zoom tool. Nope. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move it up just ever so slightly more. Get that good angle or that good, that good. There we go. All right, that's perfect. All right, so once you have, then this is what I'm gonna be using right here. Once you have your uh, position, the, the angle that you like, uh, just go ahead and go over here. You also might have a background, uh, maybe something like this. It'll pro, hold on, wait. There we go. Uh, it will probably look like it probably looks uh, something similar to this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, to change that, all you want to do is go to the left hand side, click the background button, and click this right here, which is the no background, aka the transparent background. So once you have that, you want to go to the camera option, the capture button on the left hand side, click it. You'll hear a snapshot sound or like a little camera snap sound and you're gonna be prompted with these options here the save to one drive the save the share and the close all you want to do is click on save and choose the file location that you want to save your picture to I'm just gonna save it to my hard drive right here click save and boom it's done so now what you want to do is you want to go to Photoshop I already have my uh, little panel thing open up here, but if you guys are wanting to create a YouTube profile picture, this is the settings you want. You want it to be 800 by 800 pixels with a resolution of 300. Click OK. Uh, if you're wanting to do this for uh, Twitter, it's a little bit different. The Twitter profile picture is going to be 400 by 400 pixels with a 300 resolution. And uh, Twitch is the same thing as YouTube, and I believe Discord is the same thing as the YouTube settings, which is 800 by 800. So once you have your uh, Photoshop uh, panel thing or whatever, your Photoshop open up, uh, go ahead and import your picture that you just made. So there we go, right here. As you can see, it is transparent, it has no background. So we're gonna go ahead and size it up a little bit. 
to about right there. Uh, I think that'll work. That looks about right there. That looks that looks good. And move it over just a little bit. All right, yeah, about right there looks pretty good. Now, what I did for my avatar, uh, for my profile picture, is I added a few effects. So, for example, I went to the vibrance uh, adjustment right here in the adjustments tab. Uh, is the upside down triangle. I went to that. I turned the vibrance up all the way. I believe I turned the saturation maybe slightly up. Maybe not. I don't know. No, I didn't. I didn't turn the saturation up at all. I don't believe. Um, oops, my bad. There we go. So I turned the vibrance up. Actually, that might look. That's probably a little bit too much vibrance. There we go. That works. So I, I'm going to turn mine up to about plus 63. I'm going to get some exposure in here. So I'm going to mess around with the exposure just a little bit. I want it to be nice and bright. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, this is the uh, default right here. And then we have the uh, exposure, the non-exposure, the exposure, the non-exposure, exposure, non-exposure. Non so I think that looks uh, pretty good. Um, so once you're done with that, uh, you can add a few more effects here and there. I don't know if I'll add any more or not. I'm just kind of playing around with them a little bit. Um, the main effects that I add on that I added on my avatar was the vibrance and the exposure. Um, I think I also did some contrast. I think I think I may have messed with the contrast a little bit. Um, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Um, you can also co you can also mess around with these other little options like the curves, the levels, the hue and saturation, which I. Yeah, no, I didn't mess with the saturation, I don't believe. But I'm going to this time. Just to make it a little bit different. <coughs> just make it just slightly more different. I'm going to change it up to plus 20, and that should be good. All right, so now that we have the adjustments there, uh, it looks halfway decent, though we do need a, a background now. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge all of these layers together that way we can kind of save a little bit of room now I'm not gonna make the background like I did for my profile picture because I had to take all my thumbnails and I had to make it into like a collage and I just I don't want to do that that's gonna take way too much time if you want to do that that's perfectly fine but I don't want to so instead I'm just gonna take some random picture so let me find something on my computer just really super quickly we'll go to my video thumbnails uh let's see let's see let's see let's just do uh actually you know what let's do backgrounds let's go to the backgrounds really quickly and fuck it let's do death tag this is a screenshot i took a long ass time ago of death tag on mindplex we'll just drag that there it doesn't look too great with the background but like i said you can make the background whatever you want thanks to the transparentness or whatever so you can just make the background whatever you want it to be um i normally what i do is i go to the blur gallery and i go to field blur just to kind of blur out the background a little bit not that much necessarily but like probably around like around like right there around maybe nine or ten pixels i click ok now what i do with the avatar itself is I select the avatar layer I go to filter I go to stylize and I go to oil paint now it's gonna look a little weird right here it might not look weird for you but you just adjust these settings a little bit and what it should do you can see it's kind of getting rid of a little bit of detail in the um, in the picture and that's kind of what you want. You don't want to get rid of all the detail, but you you do want to get rid of like the um, the shiny the shiny hair and all that. So you can kind of see it's kind of it's it's, it's minimizing minimalizing is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's like it's it's um, reducing the detail of the avatar itself. So I don't know. I think that I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And uh, so yeah, there we go. We have that now. What now? What I did with mine is I also went to uh, blending options and I turned on the stroke option. I turned the stroke to white. Turn the position to center. And 
I turned it to about, I'd say, not that much. Actually, you might want to do outside. Now that I think about it. We're going to do 13 for this one. I don't know how much I did on the last one, but you, uh, we're going to do 13 on this one. Uh, I also added a inner shadow as well. I'll kind of adjust that a little bit. You can kind of see that with the inner shadow, it kind of gives like some more shading to it. It kind of makes it uh, look more attractive in a sense. I'm also going to add a drop down shadow. So I'll kind of mess with that a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And after that, that's pretty much all that I did. Um, like I said, it, it, it's this one in particular does not look all that great just because of the background itself so i mean let's just go ahead and get rid of the background just really quickly i'll, I'll import something uh, a little bit more i guess um attractive we'll do video thumbnails um let's see let's just go ahead and, and import here we'll just import that we'll import this see how that looks my minecraft character now that might not look all that bad let's see let's go ahead and go to rasterize layer let's go back up to filter let's go to blur gallery filled blur that doesn't look all that bad i mean it doesn't look the best but it doesn't look all that bad definitely looks a lot better than what the minecraft one looked like but yeah so that's pretty much how i made my uh, my profile picture is I just I use the Xbox avatar editor uh, It's no secret probably anyone who knows about the Xbox avatar editor probably already knew that that's what I did So yeah, that's pretty much how I made my uh, my little avatar. It's super super simple I know I probably made it a little bit more complicated than it needed to be in this video But um, I do apologize, but yes, that is how I make my uh, my avatar or my profile picture um, if you know how to use the Xbox avatar editor you're already like 50 steps ahead so <laughs> it's 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 super easy for those of you who are aware of the uh, xbox avatar editor and know how to use it but yeah that's pretty much all it is it's just mainly a bunch of photoshop editing and all that that that's literally all it is so if you guys did enjoy the video and or found it helpful please be sure to slap a like and be sure to subscribe for more content coming in the future and with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching my name is blue and i'll see you all in the next video.